Gentlemen of the press, my colleagues, members of the Nigerian Customs Service, good afternoon to you all. I am delighted to welcome you to this briefing on the seizure of pangolin scales and elephant tusk. The ever-increasing and relevant functions of the global customs community demonstrate the, necessi the necessity of customs action to raise revenue, suppress some smuggling, and intercept illegal movement of items that can compromise national security, economy, health, and environmental protection. Deforestation and deflation of wildlife, especially the endangered species, have been globally concerned with nations with collaborating sharing, uh, sharing intelligence and expertise that will stamp out its indiscriminate killing of endangered species. In line with global best practice, NCS has been in robust collaboration with embassies of US, UK, and Germany, with other credible international bodies already indicating interest to join our quarterly meetings that provide platform for shared experience. I'm therefore happy to announce that our extensive collaboration yielded credible intelligence that triggered swift and comprehensive actions by the Customs Intelligence Unit and the Headquarters Strike Force. This led to the evacuation of sacks of different kilograms of pangolin scales and elephant tusks at a location on eastern side of Ijeoma Street, Lekki, Lagos State. Proper examination of the sacks revealed the following. One. 17,134.40 kg of pangolin scales, which, are, which is contained in 196 sacks. B, 870.44 kg of elephant tusk. And C, 4.60 kg of pangolin claws. All with estimated value of $22,283,774,000 850 Naira. The seizure is in line with Section 63E and G of SEMA, CAP 45, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, as amended. It also falls under export, ex ex prohibition, uh, export prohibition schedule. Schedule 6 of the Extant Common External Tariff, which prohibits their exportation. Nigeria is a signatory to sites convention, hence cannot be used as a transit hub for illicit goods as this. This feat is a testimony of what sincere collaboration between nations can achieve for our world and individual nations in particular. While thanking our partners, especially the Wildlife Justice Commission, let me give the assurances of the service, of the service determination to treat any and every information with utmost confidentiality and swift appropriate actions to stem this tide of illegality. Already three suspects who are non-nationals have been arrested. They are Mr. Traore Jakomba, Mr. Isiak Musa, and Mr. Mohammed Beretta. The campaign Mr. Beretta Moribinet is on the run, thinking he will evade the long arm of the law. Security agencies at all entry and exit points are on red alert to track and arrest him to face justice. He is therefore advised in his best interest to surrender himself to the Nigerian Customs Service. The suspects arrested will soon have their date in court, as Nigerian Customs Service will leave no stone unturned to bring them to justice. We will extend same treatment to any person or organization remotely connected to this or any illegal uh, wildlife uh, export or import into Nigeria. With this, let me also further underscore the importance of collaboration and information. And let me also draw your attention 
as Nigerians to the menace and the, 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 the bad name that this type of illicit trafficking has brought to us. If you go to the South, Southeast Asia, it is believed that Nigerians are known for nothing but export of these illicit goods. As you can see, these are not things that, came, that are man, 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 manifested from Nigeria. They are brought in by foreigners. And then our own people are used as the conduit to export this thing. Why should we be the hope of this export? Why should we allow ourselves to be used for tippet? Because at the end of the day, whatever is going to be paid to our Nigerians, their Nigerian counterparts is going to be tippet. 22 billion naira worth of this thing. I don't think any of them will get a billion. No. Why do we sacrifice the name of our nation? in order to assist foreigners to use our own land to commit dastardly act. I think we need to ask ourselves. And we, are, we as Nigerian Customs Service, we want to plead with our fellow Nigerians that it is time for us to be nationalistic. It is time for us to be patriotic. And it is time for us to jettison this type of illicit overtures. Finally, I want to crave the indulgence of every Nigerian to please bring forth information that will lead us to ensuring that we stamp out this type of illicit trafficking. Not only this, smuggling of every illicit item in this country. We know it, they do it, and we see it. And if you just turn your, side, uh, your eyes and don't care, it will come back to hurt you it will come back to hurt you, be it in terms of weapon, in terms of uh, drugs, in terms of uh, illicit things like this. It will come back one day to hurt you or your own family or your son. The worst of all is that when you get across into other countries, you are now seen and grouped with these people because when these people carry it from Nigeria, the, 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 the point export is Nigeria and therefore they believe it is Nigeria. May I please once again plead with fellow Nigerians that we should take our nation as important as other people do. We should be patriotic so that we can stamp out this type of illicit goods and export. Thank you very much and God bless you.